All right, let's push things on and speed things up a little bit here in the studio. Moscow is hosting an international conference dedicated to autism. The disorder is becoming ever more prevalent around the world. For example, one in 68 children in the States is diagnosed with autism. Prime Times' Alexander Abmanets talked to Stephen Shaw, one of the experts participating in the conference here, to find out how he overcame some of the challenges of being autistic. Let's have a look at that interview. Stephen, thanks so much for joining us today. First of all, I should say that it's an honor for me uh, to talk to you. There is no medical cure for autism, unfortunately, and activists say that the best we can do is to inform people about autism. Why is it so important to make people aware? Well, there's a lot of it. And also people with autism, there's a lot that people with autism can contribute to society. And as we look at people with autism who are successful, it's almost always because that person has found a way to engage in their special interest, in their focus, uh, in a way that they can contribute to society. For the person with autism, the best thing is to understand what autism means to that individual. And when I help people with autism uh, learn about what it means to them to have autism, and sometimes it means telling them they have autism, it's, we, it's really a matter of focusing on their characteristics. What are their strengths? And we have to recognize their challenges. The challenges are there, they're significant. If they weren't, then we wouldn't be here trying to figure it out. And this brings us to your personal story. As a child, you were also diagnosed with autism and Dr. Sivan suggested putting you in this sort of special facility. Luckily, your parents uh, never did that. Um, so what will be your piece of advice to Russian parents who are facing the same problem? My suggestion to parents is that their child with autism has unlimited potential, just as every other child does. But I think what's most important is intensive uh, interaction uh, with that individual. What did they do exactly? How did they help you? In today's terminology, we could say that they implemented an intensive home-based early intervention program, emphasizing music, movement, sensory integration, narration, and imitation. Mm -hmm. And it stayed with you. I mean, you're in love, in love with music, as far as I know. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, uh, the music part stayed with me. And I listen to music, I play music, and I give music lessons to children with autism. What instruments do you play? Uh, trombone, trumpet, piano, flute, mm -hmm. quarter tuba, French horn, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's a lot. Yeah. Do you sing? Uh, not if I can help it. Mm. I mean, I do some. Uh, I, I did direct a choir for a while. I would like to ask you about savants, people diagnosed with autism, but uh, who have amazing abilities. In what way uh, is their life different from one uh, of um, other autistic people? You might, for example, have a person with autism who can put together a thousand piece pu puzzle very quickly. And not only that, the puzzle may be upside down. So there's no picture. And that's a wonderful skill. And then the question is, what can be done with the skill? And then two, how can that be connected? Awareness of that skill, perhaps to generalize to other areas. So for example, uh, I don't know if I call myself a savant, but I do have some good skills. Uh, pretty uh, well-developed skills, for example, in uh, mechanical, mechanical ability. As a child at age four, uh, I would take apart watches, take out the hands, the gears, everything, play with them, and then put it all back together again, and the watch still worked. What should be Russia's first steps in terms of tackling the issue of autism? One R and three A's of mm -hmm. autism. And the first R is recognizing that it's a challenge to society. And I think Russia's got that figured out. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I feel that Russia has that figured out is that you're having this conference here. Getting to the three A's, mm -hmm. there's awareness. Then there's um, acceptance. Mm -hmm. you know, autism, it's here. Uh, this is what we can do about it. Uh, maybe we're not too happy that it's there, but it's there, and we're gonna work with it. Then the third stage, and we all need to work on this, whether it's in the United States or Russia or any other country, and that's appreciation. Mm -hmm. So appreciating people with autism for who they are. 
Thank you so much for the inspiration you are giving to all those people trying to cope with autism. Thanks so much for the interview.